video I will show you my biggest mistakes in painting on clothes which I've made during my three years YouTube journey. Uh, yes, I've been making videos on YouTube for three years and I have on my channel near 200 videos and most of my videos are painting on clothes videos, process videos so as you can understand I made a lot of clothes and some clothes I keep to myself, I'm wearing them on a daily basis some clothes I gift, some clothes I sell but still I have so many clothes at home which I'm just keeping uh, with the thought that one day I will sell them to my fans or to people who appreciate my art uh, so recently I decided to take a look at clothes which I have at home to understand like which clothes I want to keep, which clothes I want to sell and I found clothes which I made during the first year of my YouTube journey and looking at them I understood that during these three years not only I've grown so much as a YouTube creator but also I've grown so much as an artist, as a designer, as a clothes customizer because I saw a lot of mistakes which I've made and in this video I want to show you those mistakes and I want to discuss with you those mistakes. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion channel. So first and probably the biggest mistake I've made, uh, let me show you. This t-shirt and I love the idea, I love the design, I love how I made it and yeah it looks very very interesting very creative the inspiration was medusa but i spent on this t-shirt like four or five days because so many snakes each snake has many many scales and i had to paint each snake in detail and yeah it took a lot of time a lot of effort and once i finished it i realized that i made a big mistake because not only for painting I chose a t-shirt, but also a t-shirt of a bad quality. I don't know why I decided to paint on such bad quality t-shirt. It's not normally what I do. But now I understand that I spend so much time on painting this design. And yeah, it will survive many washings. Like I'm sure about like paints, about the quality of fabric paints, but I'm not sure that this t-shirt will survive many washings. I think that it will be ruined just after a couple of washings. So my first advice for all the beginners and for all the people who want to paint on their clothes, for sure you can paint on t-shirts and I always encourage people to paint on t-shirts because not only denim jackets are great for customization, but all kind of clothes and hand painted t-shirts look so cool. But my advice, if you want to paint on t-shirt, don't buy bad quality t-shirt because your artwork, your design will survive many, many washings. Of course, if you choose good quality fabric paints, but your t-shirt will not survive many washings and you'll be so sad because painting a t-shirt requires a lot of time and effort so yeah you can paint on t-shirt but choose good quality such thick cotton t-shirt and then you can wear such t-shirt many many years and there is nothing i can do with this t-shirt i cannot fix it maybe i will wear it a couple of times <laughs> then wash and see how many washings this t-shirt will survive Okay, next mistake, and luckily I can fix it. It's also a customized t-shirt, but this time the quality of t-shirt is much, much, much better. Uh, but here I made a mistake in technique, let me show you. And it's a Joker inspired t-shirt. Actually, it's a Joker's tattoos. Um, I have such video series on my channel where I paint celebrities or some movie characters tattoos on clothes. Yeah, very fun <laughs> video series I have on my channel. So what is the problem here? Background and paint splatters. And first let's talk about background. Um, I used to make background like that. I was taking such a uh, flat brush. I was removing excess of paint and with such dry brush I was such slightly touching a fabric. And you see paint is staying on the surface and it didn't connect with fabric. And actually there is not enough paint you know to connect with fabric so uh, probably after 
first washing and I didn't wash a t-shirt, I was keeping it. Uh, this background will disappear. So yeah, I need to fix it. I need to apply more paint and to make it in different technique for this background to become durable, to become waterproof, you know. <laughs> So yeah, it's very important for uh, paint to connect with fabric or if you want to create such fading effect with a little amount of paint, you can use water. And water will help your paint to connect with fabric. So we are making such fading effect with dry brush was a big mistake. And also you see these paint splatters, I used to make them like that. I was again taking flat brush, very dry brush, such hard brush. And I was splattering such way. And you see the paint splatters are so small, there is no enough energy in them. <laughs> so yeah, I will fix these paint splatters too. So yeah, let's fix this t-shirt. So what is the right technique for background? Uh, don't remove excess of paint, <laughs> use paint. And then wrap paint into a fabric because it's important for paint to connect with fabric and such way fabric paint will become water resistant i don't know why i was trying to create such nearly invisible background uh, now i love to create such bold backgrounds with such a bold strokes it's definitely my aesthetic now <laughs> Also, I'm adding a bit of contrast to the lettering for it to stand out from the background. And how to make paint splatters with an energy, just throw paint with all your energy. <laughs> and yeah, I have a lot of clothes with such problem, a background problem. Let me show you one more t-shirt with the same uh, problem. Background technique is wrong. It's a t-shirt I made for the video series uh, Artist versus Brand. And I was trying to uh, replicate um, luxury brands t-shirts, but of course in my artistic way. And uh, this t-shirt is kind of in inspired by the brand Off-White. And again, the problem is background. Here you see, again, not enough paint. Paint didn't connect with fabric and it just stink on the surface and won't survive. And also I want to, to make it a bit, to add a bit contrast. For example, here I want to add a bit more black color. Yeah, I think that now I am able to make this t-shirt a bit more beautiful, artistically beautiful. It's one of my biggest dreams to visit New York and I planned to wear this t-shirt to my first trip there. So I have to fix it to make it washing resistant and more beautiful. And you know, looking at my old uh, painted t-shirts, I feel that I wasn't very confident in my technique, in my strokes. It, it was like I was afraid, you know, to make some move with brush, to apply paint. But now, after many years of practicing, I am much more confident and I feel it that I am able to create such very bold strokes. I don't afraid to apply paint. I know how to apply it. I know how to make a design uh, eye-catching. Yeah, it's just about practice, you know. Just The more you practice, the more confidence you get. And you know, I remember how I was painting this t-shirt. It was probably the first time uh, of me painting such statue on clothes and I was freaking out. And I can definitely see this fear when I'm looking at this uh, artwork. I see that I was so scared. Yeah, you can feel it. Just by looking at strokes, just by looking at colors, just by looking at technique, you can see, like you can understand that this person was scared. But now, look at me, the fear has gone. <laughs> oh.
Okay, next t-shirt and you're gonna love it because it's I painted on it one of the most popular designs in clothes customization, in clothes design, Michelangelo hands. And of course I made it in a creative way. I created an idea, story, named this t-shirt creation of water. You might ask me what's wrong with this t-shirt, what you don't like. Well, here I don't like lava cracks and in my previous video I showed how to create lava cracks and I created such beautiful light near cracks and this light made them shine and yeah, I want to create such shine here too and probably, yeah, I don't like these paint splatters as well. Let's fix them too. So how to create shine of the crack by applying a red color near the crack and blending it out. And just such small detail as light near cracks, but it creates so beautiful effect, like you can feel the heat of the lava. So yeah, if you want to create lava cracks, you should definitely create such shine near them. Also, I decided to add a bit highlight to the hands. And paint splatters. Okay, next t-shirt is very fun, I love it, but it was also a mistake and it's a mistake which I made as a YouTube creator because I made a video on a trend and as you know all the trends are dying very fast so video died with the trend and yeah, it was so sad because yeah, I love the video but nobody was searching for it nobody was searching for such kind of a video so it had no chances well, I think you can guess a trend, Area 51. <laughs> and yeah, a t-shirt is very fun and creative. Uh, and what I don't like, I don't like that design is painted on a simple white t-shirt. So I want to dye it. I want to tie dye it. I'm not sure will the dye affect an artwork, but I want to try. Because I think the tie-dye will make this t-shirt more interesting, like funnier. Uh, probably this t-shirt doesn't require tie-dye, I know. But I just want to try, I just want to see how it will look with such tie-dye effect. And, and yeah, tie-dyeing, dyeing clothes, such a perfect tool in clothes customization. And two years ago I just didn't know about it, that you can... Or maybe I just wasn't thinking about it, that you can tie-dye clothes and then paint on them. And such way you can create much more interesting clothes. And now I know it, and now I use this possibility, and I am able to create much, much more interesting and fun clothes. You know, I think that every clothes customizer should have not only fabric paints, but textile dyes as well. Because with textile dyes, you can create so beautiful effects on your custom painted clothes. You can, cre you can create so beautiful canvas for your uh, artworks. And now I'm making a reverse uh, tie-dyeing, because normally I would uh, tie-dye first and then I would paint something. But let's see how it will turn out such way. <laughs> Okay, next t-shirt I made for a video and the video was very strange, I think, because I tried to show how uh, art can change a blank t-shirt. Yeah, it was such a strange video topic. Anyway, I did it. Let me show you what kind of t-shirt I created. And as you can see, I painted just one side of the t-shirt and the other side is blank. and. 
Actually, it looks interesting, you know, but of course you can't understand like what artists try to say, what designer try to say. It's such a strange design. Uh, and here again, you, you can see problems with background, with paint splatters. And first of all, I want to fix background and, and paint splatters. And then I want to create some idea. And you know what I don't like in this t-shirt the most? That it's such smooth. <laughs> I want to add expression. This is definitely my aesthetic, my vibe. I love to create expressive designs. I love to, you know, splatter paint, to create such bold strokes. I want it to look like it's definitely hand painted because as I already said in my previous videos, there are so many perfectly printed clothes out there. So I want to create something which you can't find anywhere. Something so different, something with an energy, with an energy of an artist, with an energy of hand and brush. Uh, so yeah, that is definitely what I love to create because printing machine is not able to create such energy <laughs> And of course to create such expressive designs you should be a bit more confident and probably I wasn't so much confident <laughs> uh, Two years ago, but now I feel that yeah, nothing can stop me <laughs> So the idea of the design is gonna be butterfly effect <laughs> Uh, you know, I love to create designs with an idea because I think that such way I'm able to create a bit more meaningful clothes. So yeah, it can be some clear idea or maybe some clear aesthetic or some clear style, but something which gives some vibes, you know. <laughs> Well, as you can notice, most of my problems are with the t-shirts because I used to paint a lot of t-shirts, especially for this YouTube channel, because t-shirts are more affordable and just recently I've started to earn some money with this YouTube channel. Uh, but I found one hoodie with the problem in technique. Let me show you. Here is the hoodie and I love design. It's so interesting, so beautiful birds, skulls <laughs> and yeah, as you can see again, like you can already guess that here I used dry brush technique and you see here I tried to create background but I didn't use paint, like what is it? <laughs> and it stays on the surface, it didn't connect in any way with fabric so like how it will survive washing if it didn't connect with fabric? So yeah, I need to I need to fix background because this hoodie is so beautiful. And again, I'm using a bit more paint now and I'm rubbing it into a fabric to connect it with fabric. Paint splatters. And I decided to add a couple of stars because I can definitely feel space here. Well guys, I made a very useful video, not only for me because I fixed t-shirts, but for you as well, because now you can understand what kind of mistakes you shouldn't make. And now I will show you before and after the result, but first I ask for your support for your likes and comments, and if you are new here, subscribe for more painting on close videos. And here is the final result. Mm -hmm.